India and South Korea on Monday inked a number of deals aimed at strengthening bilateral cooperation in various fields. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Seoul for the last leg of his three-nation visit. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi was given a ceremonial welcome by President Park Kwen Hye in South Korean capital Seoul. The two leaders discussed a number of bilateral and regional issues. The Indian Prime Minister also paid respects to Korean veterans at the National Cemetery. The two countries entered into a slew of agreements, including one on double taxation, avoidance convention, cooperation in shipping and logistics, audiovisual co-production, transport, highways and new energy. We are pursuing a comprehensive program of economic modernization that covers all sectors of our economy and all aspects of our policies and procedures. We have a special focus on infrastructure and developing a world-class manufacturing sector. Korea can be a leading partner in this enterprise. The Indian Prime Minister, who is in Seoul with an aim to woo Korean investors to India, met top business leaders including Hyundai, Samsung and LG. The trade and economic relations between India and South Korea have gathered momentum in recent years, with bilateral trade reaching $17.57 billion in 2013. India is the 15th largest trade partner of Korea. Prime Minister Modi is also hoping to secure up to $10 billion in South Korea soft loans to fund infrastructure projects. Later in the day, he also met the Indian community in the country. Prime Minister Modi also met UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Prime Minister Modi reached South Korea after completing his one-day visit to Mongolia on Sunday. It was the first visit of an Indian Prime Minister to the country. He said Mongolia has an important role in India's Act East policy. India also announced a $1 billion line of credit to the country. We will take our economic partnership to a new level. Today, I am pleased to announce that India will provide a line of credit of $1 billion US dollars to support expansion of Mongolia's economic capacity and infrastructure. Prime Minister Modi, who assumed office a year ago, has been promoting his ambitious Make in India initiative world over, calling on international business houses to invest in the country. The campaign is aimed at transforming India into a global manufacturing destination.